Hey everybody and welcome back. First I'm going to go in by removing my client's honesty towel. Today I have Zai in the chair. Zakia Blaine, the owner of FBF Body. Get into it if you don't know about it. I'm going to put the website in the box when I'm done so you guys can check her out. Check out everything she has to offer to the world because child, she got the stuff. <laughs> so I'm starting by putting my Satin Shield Serum into her hair. Zah has just recently cut her hair off. If you don't remember Zah, I'll also put the video from the last time she was here um, in the box below. So you could check out that old video. And she just recently cut her hair off. She was getting some damage because she had color on her hair. So she cut it all off into a bop. So I'm just going to go in and I am going to part off that first section and get ready for the blow dry. Now I had detangled Zai's hair at the sink, so the comb is going straight through that first section. Um, and I'm just gonna pull out my blow dryer and get the blow drying. <laughs> so um, Zai is getting ready for her 10 year anniversary. She's doing a three day weekend. And I mean, clearly now it's after the weekend. And when I tell you, it was like one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. Um, and it was just so inspiring to be around so many women who has so many great things going for themselves. Um, and so for the first time ever, I spoke on a panel. And, you know, when Zai asked me to speak on a panel, at first I didn't want to do it because I'm like, I'm like, I just be talking myself out of great things sometimes. It's just kind of weird how that happens or whatever. But also I had just been kind of in a little weird space. I kind of talked to y'all about this a few videos ago. I just was in a weird space um, this summer for due to personal reasons and i just feel like Z god sent za to me this day okay so i told her yeah i would do it because i'm like i'm not going to say no because i love her so much one um and then two i just felt like it would be the one thing to get me from under the covers and it literally did um so maybe like a year from now i know this sounds like really crazy but like a year from now i probably will tell you guys exactly what happened on this day um and what had been going on with me but nonetheless i'm grateful that it did and you know just know that you know, sometimes God pe sends people in your path to kind of brighten your day, brighten your week, your year, your life. Um, and sometimes the devil sends people too. So you got to know who to kind of roll with and who not to roll with. And when red flags appear, you know, cut that off. But this right here was ordained. Believe me on that. I can't wait to share it with y'all. I know a year sounds like... Um, far away but i mean seriously it's september already y'all and not only just it's september but september is more than halfway over can y'all believe that like the pandemic just started but it was really two years ago almost three so you know i don't know it's a little gangsta out here and i know i'm just getting a little mushy and extra with y'all but you know just know that life is going to get better <laughs> and things are going to get a lot better and just be open to what god has in store for you because trust me on this he always has something greater later So next, I'm just going to go in with my 22 Titania and Smoke and Mirrors. Um, a lot of people were asking me when the Signature Royal, which is the purple one, would be back in stock. It's back in stock now, so just making sure I let you guys know that. And I'm just going to press Zai's hair straight. Thank you. 
Now, if you look really closely while I'm pressing her hair, you can see how choppy her ends are. So what has, what has happened here is Za has gotten a curly cut. Now, I know I've talked to y'all about this on my channel plenty of times. Like, I don't love curly cuts for this very reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, diva cuts, curly cuts, whatever you want to call it. I'm not shunning them. I just know that it's not the best thing for me. Now, if you are always wearing your hair curly, it probably doesn't matter that if you press your hair out or blow your hair out that it's choppy and uneven like this because if you always wear it curly you'll never see that it'll always be camouflaged by the curls but if you are like za or me or a lot of other clients that i have that go back and forth between their natural curly hair and straight styles it is very important to just make sure that the hair is pressed out or blown out before you trim it so you can make sure that it's even both ways because if not you end up with a choppy haircut like this and then you can't go into the straight style without seeing that so i just think that it's best to cut it that way if you are a person of options that always likes to go back and forth So today I'm using this little purple carbon comb, just trying it out while I do hair. The thing about this comb is the teeth are a lot smaller and closer together. So when I am going in to do the chase method, if you haven't noticed, what I'm doing is when I grab a section of hair, I am using the comb for the chase method. And instead of putting the teeth up into the section of hair, you watch this. I put it up and you just see those strands of hair just starting to stick up because the ends of those combs push the strands through. Instead, I'm putting the teeth down so the back of, back of the comb can smooth the hair out and then I just take the flat iron and go down. Because if you do it the other way, then those strands of hair are going to get crushed, it's going to cross frizz, it's going to be weird. So I just put the comb down. And that's a better method when you are using a comb with smaller teeth that are closer together. And for anyone who doesn't know what the chase method is, what's happening is you use your comb and put those teeth within the section of hair just to separate the hair and make sure that those ends aren't crushed. If you crush the ends within the flat iron, then it'll just cause tangles. And when you comb through it, your comb will get stuck and you'll end up causing a lot of breakage just trying to get through it. Or you'll try to use more heat to get the ends straight and you can just go through it one time with one pass without doing all of that. Next, I am going to take some Murray's and start sectioning off Zaz's hair. Murray's is the cat's meow. Okay. <laughs> like, it's been on the shelf since, like, I don't know. I'm about to look it up on Google how long it's been on the shelf. But back in the day, like, Murray's always been lit for all kind of things. And it is still pushing. You think using pink moisturizer is a throwback? No, Murray's. Okay. <laughs> and then pump it up. Pump It Up always reminds me of hair school. When I used to walk in the door of hair school, I mean, Pump It Up just hits you in the face every day. Like, everybody was using spritz. And I am just doing section by section. This right here, all this does is make sure that it is product all throughout the hair. If you only put product on the top of the hair, you run the risk of all those soft strands within the middle just kind of popping through and not laying the way you need them to. So you just kind of need to do section by section just to make sure that that product is all throughout. So I'm just going to take a butterfly clip to hold that out of the way while I grab the next section of hair. So y'all, I went on Google and it says that Murray's was made in 1925. Murray Superior Products Company is a hair pomade company founded in 1925. 
best known for creating Murray's superior hair dressing pomade. Since then, the original Murray's remains a popular pomade in drug stores and grocery stores today. Which is true. Like, we be tearing this Murray's up. It's so good. Um, the only thing about Murray's is it's so heavy that it's hard to get out when it's time to wash your hair. So, some girls be like, oh, you got to use dishwashing liquid. Like, listen, it's not happening. I'm not using that. I'm not using that on my hair. I'd rather wash my hair a few times and get it out than use dishwashing liquid. But to each his own. But you ain't never going to hear me tell you to use that to wash your hair. Now you're just going to repeat the same steps on the next section of hair. Um, when you see me brush the hair and then also use a small tooth comb, a fine tooth comb, it is simply to smooth it out. A lot of times I feel like the brush and the products kind of clump the hair together. So I think that a comb is a really good tool to use to just same thing with the chase method, just to separate those strands and make sure that it's laying nice and neat. Now I'm going in and I'm just going to do the top section. She wanted the middle part, so I put the part in her hair. And then I'm going to add that product to her hair once more and lay it down flat. Now I know Zai's talking and moving a lot, but she is trying to get ready for her 10-year anniversary on the next day. And she was on the phone having to get a whole lot of people together, okay? So just, you know, give her grace for her movements because she was, you know, orchestrating a lot of things from the phone. So when I went to Zai's um, anniversary and did my part of the panel it was talking about work and home life balance my section of the panel was called that and you know i told the story about you know why i retired and you know a lot of people get in the comments is like how can i make an appointment and all of that but the truth is like i don't take appointments anymore like youtube is primarily what i do when it comes to doing hair so anytime you see me doing hair it's literally to post on youtube because i chose that i wanted to just start doing education for the you know for the remainder of my career when it comes to hair and then you know sell my products so that's why i'm not in the salon all the time anymore i'm literally like retired from behind the chair and anytime i am behind the chair it's for youtube so when you guys shoot your shot i've had a lot of clients shoot their shot and come in and get their hair done for youtube it's just such a great experience to meet a lot of people and so it's like when you come and ask me can you get your hair done don't feel like you might not because you really might you know I, like i said i've had a few people come to the chair already just from jumping in my dms on instagram telling me their story and and you know we go from there so, but what made me retire is, um, when I lost my mom, you know, I lost my dad in 2018 and my, my mom in 2019. And when my mom first passed away, um, first of all, I was with one of my closest friends and it was time to go on a business trip and she had called them to tell them what happened. And they literally told her that she had to get on the plane. Mind you, I've been working in the industry for so long and you know, from that moment on, it's like, I kind of pushed her on that plane that day. Let me just tell you what I'm doing right here on this step. Um, I am just going to kind of braid, since she has a really short ponytail, it's hard to braid it, but I'm just going to twist it the best that I can. And I'm going to put another ponytail holder on there just, just to secure it as I add the extension hair. Clearly, as you see, Zaz getting a little ponytail. I never told y'all that, so sorry. <laughs> so anyway, I kind of forced my friend on that plane that day. Um, but just the fact that the industry told her, like, basically, like, well, we know what's going on with Key, but you have to still come to work. It's like they didn't even care. It's like they I went from working with them for a long time to them just not caring about what was going on. They just made her leave. And that was like crazy to me. And then, like, weeks after my mom passed away. All right. Sorry, y'all. Just another commercial going in and um, 
I'm taking these hairpins and I'm taking the beginning of that ponytail, the extension ponytail, and I'm starting at the bottom of that first ponytail holder just for security. And I'm going to put those hairpins up into the pony, like up into that, like that shaft of the pony, um, just for extra security. Okay. Back to the story. <laughs> so, um, a few weeks later I had to go to work and I just was like, you know, I'm gonna go to work and I'm gonna do hair. And I used to do pop-up shops. And so at pop-up shops, it was just a lot of like strangers or people just knew of me from Instagram. So I did my first pop-up shop after my mom passed away and you know, everybody knew what was going on. A lot of them was bringing me flowers, sympathy cards, all kind of stuff, strangers. And, um, what happened was people wanted the social genius experience when they come get their hair done. And all I could be at that moment was key, which it really is kind of the same person, but you know, key was going through something at that time. And it's like, nobody really understood. I had the clients coming in, like the strangers clients, they would come in and just, they, can we take a picture together? It's like, you know, I just kind of lost my mom. I don't really, I don't really feel good. I don't look good. I just rather not. And then it's like, when I didn't want to take a picture, then they're like sneaking pictures of me from behind the room. And it was just like freaking me out that people were treating me like that instead of just like giving me grace for what I had just gone through. And it hurt my feelings and it made me feel like, you know what, all these years I've given to the game, I felt like I gave all of myself for everyone else, but when it was my turn, nobody really cared. And it was like, damn, nobody cares about me. The industry was on, on one tip. They wanted, they didn't care. Then you got the clients here that don't care. And it was like, from that moment on, I finished that work day and I walked to the desk and I told my receptionist, I said, Jackie, I'm done. This is my last day at work behind the chair. And you know, I, my back was against the wall after that. I had to figure out how to make money. And it was like, I just chose to do education on YouTube. I felt like it was just the best way to go. Um, and I would have already been on YouTube since I think 2014, but I just start turning up. Um, and you know, it just, it was an eye opening experience to just feel like you are, you know, putting your heart and soul into something and it's not, it didn't, didn't give back to you. You know what I'm saying? So I just decided to to do what was best for me and just like the quote in the beginning I didn't feel guilty I couldn't feel guilty for it you know what I'm saying so if there's anything in your life I know this story is so long but you know I just hopefully it helps somebody that's listening if there's anything in your life that you feel like is taking too much from you and it's not feeding your soul anymore just pivot just pivot and it's not to say that you have to leave your passion at all because I sure enough didn't leave my passion oh another I had to stop real quick do you see how small that base of that ponytail was like I thought that was kind of cute it made me want to like you see that it just looks like a real ponytail with that little tiny base and that's the purpose of wrapping a ponytail from the bottom like that is to make the base smaller than it would be if you put the whole thing in there especially if you need to put like two bundles of hair um but yeah, it made me want to explore that option really quick where you just take the ponytail right to that ponytail holder and see how it goes from there. Not this time, because I ain't going to send that out there like that on an experiment. However, like, yeah, I want to see. I'm Let's see. Let's try that next time. So, so yeah, if there's something that's not feeding your soul, just pivot. Just do it. Do what's best for you and don't feel guilty about it because... We only are here once that we know of. And, you know, we just got to do what's best for us and make sure that we are happy in our time on this earth. So that's all I had to say, that little story right there. Hopefully it fed somebody to to just jump out there and, and do what's better for them. You know what I'm saying? Because we life can be life in and, and you deserve all that you can that makes you smile. OK. All right, cool. So back to this pony. So now I'm wrapping the second bundle of curly hair. I wanted a curly pony. So I'm wrapping the second bundle. Now see how big the base is getting. It's not super big, but it's getting there. But if we would have put two ponytails up there on the on the base of that pony like that, it would have been huge. So you just take the first um, bundle and put it at the bottom of the ponytail, of her real ponytail, and then you add the second one. And it'll make it look a lot more realistic um i also just want to add that i also was suffering a little burnout from doing hair i've been 
had been behind the chair for 20 years and no matter what if you if you've been doing your profession for three years or 20 years if it's not serving you and doesn't make you feel happy and good anymore you're allowed to change up you are allowed to do whatever makes you feel better you know what I'm saying so I don't want y'all to think I just quit because it was just such a weird little moment in in time and I made a decision that deep off of two things like that but it's like after you just sit back and think about a lot of things like sometimes like God again put stuff in your in your path to make you make the decisions that he's been leaning on your heart already so it's just like you know just make sure that whatever you're doing it's a smart move um but don't overthink it either you know i don't want you to sit there and overthink it or stay in something just because of the security of it all just just talk to god and he will give you all the answers or whatever your beliefs are just meditate on it do whatever you need to do to come up with those answers and it will all be all right i promise you Here I just sprayed a little extra spritz around that band because I took a band of the extension hair just to lay it around to cover the wefts. Um, and then I am just going to fluff that ponytail out a little bit. Easy peasy. Easy, easy peasy. <laughs> easy peasy is such a funny, <laughs> a funny phrase. And of course the glass brilliant shine and Za is dun dun you know what i'm saying and these bundles right here i'm so mad i didn't catch what they was called but these i ran to the hair store and got these it was only like 69 dollars a pack or a bundle or whatever um but yeah this they work you know what i'm saying especially when you're just doing your hair for the weekend and you can reuse them you know what i'm saying so I'm taking a cape off fluffing baby out and we're gonna spin za is it time to spin Zaya yeah, up? Look at her. <laughs> you know, people be real awkward and real happy in the chair. It's like every single person gets so weird when the camera's on them. But she looks so cute. And um, congratulations out on 10 years, you hard-working woman, you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I love your life. And thank you for inspiring me and so many others to keep on pushing and doing what's best for us. Um, so right here, I'm just teasing with a wide tooth comb just a little bit. I just want to do her ponytail to just sit out a little more, um, you know, so just pushing it up a little bit, not too much. Cause I don't want to make it too, too frizzy. I'm um, just making sure it's neat and fluffy and that's it. So I just want to thank you all for watching today and I will see you all next time. All right. Bye.